What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwood and I am back again bringing you guys another Madden 25 Ultimate Team video and today we are doing a wager game against a guy named Call Me Pans. The cards that are going to be up for grabs today are my Trinidad Holiday Combine card that gives plus two to speed and his 97 cornerback Rod Woodson card. Both of these cards go for about 35,000 to 40,000 coins depending on the day and of course depending on the system. But with that said, let's get into the gameplay because I think you guys are going to really enjoy this one. It's not a blowout like a lot of my games are. It was actually a really close game and he actually has some pretty decent skills. We're both a 93 overall team. So, you know, this is pretty much as even as it gets in terms of coin games. Now, the first thing that I noticed about his team is that he had a lot of speed on offense. He had Colin Kaepernick at quarterback, CJ Spiller at running back, like Des Bryant and Deshaun Jackson at wide receiver. A lot of speed. So I definitely am going to have to think about that. And on defense, man, his defensive line and linebackers are crazy. Definitely built to stop my running game, and that could be a problem in this one. So very first play of the game, I'm going to try the read option here. See if it works for me. I, I don't know if he's going to see it coming or not right off the bat. Looks like he didn't, though, and we go off the left side. We pick up a decent first down with a spin move here by Walter Payton, and we are starting off strong on offense. Let's try another read option. And this time, we hand it off to Chris Johnson up the middle. He picks up eight and puts us in a very manageable second and short here. Very next play, we're going to go off the right side with Chris Johnson. The outside zone run, he makes a juke, breaks a tackle, and gets a big first down for us. He has two rushes for 17 yards now at this point. And Walter Payton throws it deep, but there's a flag. Alshon Jeffrey was not able to get to the ball. It is defensive pass interference. Yeah, guys, that actually happens apparently in Madden from time to time. I never knew. I don't think I've ever seen it called. So I was pretty astonished. I accepted that penalty. First and 10, we go with the screen pass and Johnson gets taken down from behind. Barely taken down, a shoestring tackle. But that's okay because Walter Payton is gonna pick up another first down, gets us down to the one yard line. And let's try a QB sneak. Nope, that didn't work. Second and goal, we'll try a different play here. Let's try to run off the left side and see if CJ can get in. But he gets swallowed up in the backfield. I think that was Deacon Jones. And again, now third and goal. I am having struggles at the goal line. I get swallowed up in the backfield. And just like in the last few games that I've played, I am having a lot of trouble scoring at the goal line. I don't understand it. But I take my three points. I'm not going to get greedy. I know my defense is playing well for the most part for me. I don't really need to try and run up the score or anything like that. I just need to make sure that I don't make stupid mistakes. And right there, you see him pick up a first down, a nice out route there to Devin Hester, beating the man coverage there. And the very next play, he makes a terrible throw right at Derek Johnson, who drops the interception. That was extremely frustrating to me because that should have been a drive ender and it could have been a game changer. Now, Kaepernick continues to scramble to the right. So I'm gonna have to make sure that I make adjustments to that. But he continues now to pick up first downs with the passing game. He's running some man-beating offense like, you know, the comeback routes and the out routes. But he can't really run the ball too effectively. As you see Patrick Peterson make up for his poor coverage on the previous play. And we get a sack this time with Alden Smith. He takes Colin Kaepernick down. It's now 3rd and 17. And Kaepernick finally throws that interception that he should have thrown earlier in the drive. I put Antrell Roll into a QB spy because I didn't want Colin Kaepernick to run, but he ended up making an incredible interception there, jumping in the way of it. As you see Vernon Davis pick up the first down. Later in the drive now, it's second and six, and we're gonna go over the middle here to Trinan Holiday, who picks up the first down. Yes, Trinan Holiday, I don't understand why he was on the field for me there. I substituted him out prior to the game, so I'm not exactly sure what happened. But Chris Johnson scores on the screen pass on the very next play, puts us up 10 to nothing here, and my opponent has continued to be very successful with his passing game. Watch this one, because it looks like he's setting up a screen pass on the right side, and I fall for it, leaving the middle of the field wide open. He picks up a huge gain to Cecil Shorts there, a 28-yard reception. Next play, though, he tries to go back to the screen pass, and he gets swallowed up in the backfield. Second and 12 now, and Kaepernick's going to hit another receiver here on a comeback route. He spins his way out of bounds. Now, that was another man beater, so I'm going to try and mix it up here with a little bit of zone, but he finds a hole in the defense just barely, and it's now first and goal from about the seven-yard line. Kaepernick's completed five passes in a row, and now he's going to go to the run, and it hasn't really been too successful for him. We tackle him there after a gain of two, tries it again, and he's taken down at about the two-yard line. But this time he's going to go play action. Kaepernick scrambles out to the right. And he's going to try and throw back over the middle. But the pass is broken up. 
It is now fourth down, and my opponent's gonna take his three points to make it a one-score football game. And we're now entering the fourth quarter as I'm gonna try and run out a little bit of clock here. Try and make sure that if my opponent gets the ball back that he's not gonna have a whole lot of time. Third and nine here, we go with the screen pass. It looks like it's setting up well here, but my linemen do not get their block and we get tackled, forced to punt, and he doesn't call for a fair catch, so Deion Sanders smacks him. Could have been a fumble there, absolutely. Very next play on offense, and oh my goodness. Oh, that was terrible users. Oh, that should have been an interception. Just absolutely horrific user skills there by me. And he is now in range to tie this football game with about two minutes left on the clock. Second and two here as he goes off the right side. And Tashawn Gibson's going to take him down prior to the first down. Third and one here. Very important first down here. Picked up by his fullback by a run up the middle. Now he's gonna continue to run the ball here. I think he knew at this point that he needed to run out some clock and he actually dove to the ground to stay in bounds there and continue to run out a little bit of clock. But he still had to score a touchdown. And he eventually does it right there, 10 to 10. We only have one minute left in this football game and it is time to put the team on my back. Quarterback Walter Payton with the read option up the middle and now he's gonna hit Vernon Davis over the middle, he threads the needle over the user, and it is now first and 10 here. Quarterback Walter Payton cuts it inside on the read option, the spin move, and he is bringing the football down to about the 34 yard line. Chris Johnson now gonna take the ball up the middle, and he puts us into field goal range. Now, I was planning on running out the clock here and just kicking the field goal with only a few seconds left, but my opponent calls a timeout. So I actually had to go out there and kneel the ball to run out just a few final seconds Final play of the game, the kick is up, it is good! Matt Prater comes through and we are victorious in this wager game. I take home the 97 Rod Woodson cornerback card. And guys, that was one of the closest games that I have played in Madden 25 Ultimate Team. That was a really tough game. He played really, really well, especially on defense. He paid up though after the game. I really do appreciate that, of course. So shout out to him. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you press that like button below, leave a comment for me, let me know what you think, and of course, if you have not already done so, please press the subscribe button because that's how I grow my channel the best, so I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.